Okay, well, unless I am forgetting something important, I think this is it. I think this is a Pac-Man game made using Visual Basic 6.0. Um, I don't know exactly how long it took. I haven't kept uh, track of all the different video sections. But start to finish, not using anything fancy that you would not have access to. So hopefully uh, some of you guys watching will be able to do something cool with this. Uh, I would uh, definitely appreciate hearing from you guys if you do something cool with it. Oh, that's right. I didn't do the... Uh, code, the collision, if you happen to be running in opposite directions. Uh, so you gotta do that. I hmm. almost missed it too. Let's see. Should be the section if you're dying. Where is it at? Here we go. If you equal each other, then you die. If... Let's just put it this way. If... I'm gonna put it here. We would say if you wait, G A equals A plus one. And so that means if he is directly to the right of you and D equals one and G D Z equals three, then dying goes one. All right, let me walk you through this one before I cut and paste it a bunch of times. If the ghost's x coordinate is one higher than Pac-Man, so in other words, the ghost is one tile to the right of Pac-Man. Pac-Man is traveling to the right. He's traveling right towards it, and the ghost is traveling left. So he's heading towards Pac-Man then you should die, because you've technically hit one another, or you're going to. Uh, now I'm going to repeat this for uh, the exact opposite here, so this would be 3 and 1. I'll just swap those. Now I have to do the uh, Y coordinate. And um, let's see. If the ghost is one below B, so yeah, he's, he's he's down. So if we're heading two is down, that would mean this would have to be four for up, and then we swap them two and four. Okay, that should solve that problem. Let me try running straight at a ghost and see if it works. Uh, no idea what happened. And oh, okay. I see the problem. If here we go, it's got all these ands to this thing. Oh, we also have to say in here and G B equals B. I only had half of the thing in there, and then this is G A. A. You guys see that right? With each line, you have to somehow include both B and A. So let's try that. And I died, just to make sure. Let me try it again, in case that was a fluke. Seems to be working. Try running this way. I died. Now, I died a split second before I actually collided, you know, so we could solve that by saying, um, let's see, what would you put here, you know, if A and I is greater than 2 or something, greater than or equal or something. Now here we go. Let's say it's equal to 3. That means it's just before they actually run into each other. So what this means is that yes, they are going to collide or they're passing each other in the air. So what we're going to do is say that oh yeah, I'll change it back to 2. That means that he if they're halfway through the animation, then you make them die. So let's do that. Okay, there I died there. I run this way and change direction. I died again. Third time to charm. Cool. Seems to be working. Okay, so we've got that. I believe all the features are into the game that you would need. Pretty much everything. I mean, there's some little things you could tweak. 
you know, to make it your own. Um, you could add some stuff in that I skipped, like I didn't do the little floating eyes to travel back. Um, but I think I've done 99% of the work you would need. It hasn't taken that long. Now, for those of you who are going to want this sprite sheet, I'm going to rename it uh, Pac-Man Sprite or something. Yeah, Pac-Man Sprites. And I'm going to end up putting it online so that you can download it. Let me give you the address. It is going to be at the following address. Um, what was it called? Pac-Man? <laughs> Pac-Man Sprites. This will be the address that it's located at. Um, how about this? Please, please leave comments. <laughs> please rate me. Um, there we go. Please rate me highly. Um, with the RTS challenge that I did, I got a handful of people that left comments, but I had tons of people who sent me messages through YouTube. Now the problem with that is that it doesn't look like the video is very popular because only a couple people comment on it, and I know what you're all thinking when you see a video and you go to it, depending on how many comments it has, usually that's if you think it's a good video or not, sometimes you'll just leave because nobody's even bothered to comment on it. So it's kind of cool if you leave a bunch of comments. Um, I'd like that. And then also, the other disadvantage is that people would ask me questions because nobody's going to watch these videos just for the fun of it. Usually it's because they want to learn something. So if people ask me questions, and then I get a ton of repeat questions. You know, it might be five, six, seven, ten people who ask me the exact same question, and if it had been in the comments, everybody else could have seen it. So, um, uh, comments are good. Leave me comments. And I think that is everything I need to do. Uh, this is Apron signing out.